Okay, so I missed the Dokkan Twitter episode yesterday, but today we are back with what I believe is episode 6 of Dokkan Twitter. Let's get right into it, right off the bat. We've got ourselves a potentially controversial tweet. Honestly, I don't think this is controversial. I think this is the truth. The best rotation in the game is Bulmer and Orange Piccolo. What you have to bear in mind with this rotation is that with Bulma, not only is she making the most powerful rotation, but then on top of that, she's also preparing the next rotation with 3 key and 37% attack and defense. Like, she is busted. I was watching a video of The Truth today, and in the video, he was legitimately saying that the more he uses the Bulma, the more he's thinking Bulma is the best unit. I rephrased that, but it was something to that effect. Like he thinks the more he uses Bulma, like Bulma is number one. And I can see the argument I've been saying from the start. Like Bulma, Orange Piccolo, and the GT duo are all in contention for number one. It could go any way. The thing with Bulma, I think she has a very big effect on the game. Like she very much can control your fight and can very much help you win fights. Like she is that good. To be fair, Orange Piccolo could do the same thing, the GT duo could do the same thing as well, but I don't know, Bulma is is doing that every turn. Like with Orange Piccolo, he'll control the fight when he transforms into the giant form, and then the GT duo will control the fight with their standby skill, but Bulma is doing that consistently throughout and she doesn't need to build up. So I can see the argument for Bulma being number one, and I'm, I'm not saying I completely agree, but I can certainly see that argument. Okay, this tweet is an interesting one because this tweet is straight up facts. I completely agree with this, to, an, to a degree. What I agree with is that the LR Gods and the LR Super Saiyan Force have aged incredibly well. Like, I will give the LR Gods and the LR Super Saiyan Force that. What have we got next? This unit should have never been released. Beastless Gohan, you know what? I agree. I don't care what no one says. I agree. Where is Golden Freezer? Now, to be fair, Golden Freezer only came to Global quite recently. So I've seen the argument of people saying that Golden Freezer only just came out. So why are you expecting him in the shop? My counter argument would be, why not just let us have him in the shop? Like We already have to wait a long time for the unit to come to Global after JP. You might as well put him in the shop for us now. Like Why do we have to wait this long before he's available in the shop? This is the thing. If Global and JP were caught up, this wouldn't be an issue, but because Global's behind, that's when it becomes an issue, because we have to wait so long after a unit comes out for it to return with coins. These were all the units that came out for Golden Week. Honestly, this was a W celebration. Elwa, Bulma, W, Easy A, Piccolo, Piccolo Jr, Goku, Krillin and Tien. A very, very massive W of a celebration. Even that Easy A, Bulma's pretty good. Overall, W celebration with W units. Okay, so this is interesting by the way. If this is true, that means Bulma's damage reduction, like every time she gets hit, it's got a 70% chance to activate, and then once it activates, it will remain active for the rest of the turn. That's actually really good. Fair enough. I've not used the Bulma, well, obviously, the Bulma's not easy 8 yet. I think the Bulma is about to easy A in a few hours, because it just became the 18th. So Bulma should be getting the easy A today. As a matter of fact, by the time you're watching this, the easy A will be out. Just based on the information, Bulma does seem quite powerful. The creation of LR Bulma, Chilai and Yajorobi, you add them together, you mix that together, you get LR Bulma. And you know what? I agree. Okay, the point of this tweet is my boy is saying that Bulma is a massive buff for the Boo Saga duo. The thing is, Bulma is a massive buff for any unit that she shares teams with, so that's not really a big thing to say. Although, to be fair, the reason this is so effective is because when you activate Bulma's active skill, that will make the Boo Saga duo super effective against all types. So when you activate the standby skill and then nuke, like that's gonna one-shot anything, probably. What even is this tweet? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is better than Bulma, like what? Obviously he's baiting, and obviously I always fall for these, but you know what, it's free content. When we get a new Bopak lead, they'll be gone. At first I was struggling to understand what this meant, but what this means is bond of parent and child. So what he's saying is when we get a brand new bond of parent and child leader, 
this unit will be useless is basically what he's saying and he's completely wrong the reason this unit is so good is not only because of the leader skill the leader skill is really really good but they have one more thing on top of that and you know what that is slot one utility and to this day not many units have that and the fact that LR Trunks and Vegeta have slot one utility still makes them a very very powerful unit they won't do much damage let's be fair but they're not there for damage they are there to do slot one tanking which not many units can do so anyone that is disrespecting this unit i really really don't see it she's not number one top 10 top five but not one um it's debatable it's it's debatable like, i can see it either way the gt duo orange piccolo and bulma are definitely top three like i think bulma is better than everyone else but is she better than orange piccolo is she better than the gt duo i don't know it could be argued either way all of these units are in the top tier like i would put these three units in a tier of their own above everything else i don't care what no one says i think this trio of units is above everything else there are some other close units but for the most part i think these three are definitely the best exactly thad my boy thad is spitting facts right now all three of them are interchangeable and that's basically what i said well something to a similar effect okay we're gonna end it with this tweet which scene was more hype super saiyan 2 gohan the og scene or beast gohan personally like for me it's not even close like i will say this i will caveat what i'm gonna say with this my favorite transformation out of the two is beast gohan but the more hype moment was easily super saiyan 2 gohan and the reason for that is because well number one i just think it was more hype but number two like the nostalgia the nostalgia it was only the second transformation, but well, the second big transformation, and it was huge. It was beautiful. It was well executed. The Cell Saga is honestly probably the most underrated arc in Dragon Ball, probably in my opinion, because it had so many good moments. Like for example, Gohan got his moment. Tien, my boy Tien got a sick moment against Semi Perfect Cell. Piccolo got his moments. Vegeta, Trunks, Goku, they all got their moments to shine. So this arc was a massive W in my opinion. Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that the more hype scene was the Super Saiyan 2 transformation, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.